for all things that I've done. I say I'm sorry right now before I'm gone. And please believe me, I understand. I'm just a captive in this vessel, I'm just a man. Before I go, oh, bless my soul. I am currently living in Omaha, Nebraska, born and raised in Michigan. And I moved from Omaha, Nebraska in 2001 from Nashville, Tennessee. I lived there for about nine years before I moved here. I grew up in a musical family. My dad played music. He played honky-tonks all over Michigan. And my brother and I, my brother, I have an older brother. He's two years older than me. And his name's Wyatt. He became a drummer at a really young age. And I started playing with my dad's band really young. Um, I recorded my first record when I was eight years old. Got a 45 vinyl. A lot of you kids don't know what that is. <laughs> and uh, so my dad, my family, my whole musical family was all musical. My, and so I started playing with him really young and had my own stage show by the time I was 12. I was doing Opry shows. And so my inspiration came from my father. He's a great musician, great singer. And to this day, he's still playing. He still plays every weekend. I don't think I've ever thought about how I define myself. <laughs> family comes first and all that, but really music is part of my family. Everything, music, everything's revolved around music for me. Everybody has their own definition of success. Um, to me, success is waking up in the morning and being able to go down to my studio and write music and, pr and produce music and then go, that's how I spend my days. And then at night, I get to go play on stages at night so that's success to me. There's all, there's all different levels of success, and I'm happy and successful where I'm at. We played so many venues in our life, and I think the thing that, that's memorable to us is when the people really enjoy what we're doing, and they, uh, when they're singing along to your songs, you look out in the audience and they're, they're singing your songs that you wrote, that you brought to them, you know, they're buying your records, and it's just really hard for me to pinpoint you know, what my favorite show was or anything like that. I've written, uh, I've written over 2,000 songs probably. And <clears throat> there's one song that we've never, I've never put it on, never put it on a record. I don't know why, I just never have. And it's a song I wrote for my wife. And uh, <clears throat> it's called Right Here With You. Inspiration for writing is just the pure fact of creating. It's being, creating something that in creating a story and something that other people are going to relate to. I was fortunate to have uh, have a pretty cool thing with the Larry the Cable Guy. I, I wrote Get Her Done for his Health Inspector movie, recorded by Montgomery Gentry. That was the coolest thing to be able to walk in to a movie theater and anywhere in the country and sit down and watch a movie and at the end of the movie your name's rolling, like, you know, is in the credits. That's a, such a cool feeling, you know, you're like, hardest part about me being a musician is persistence, probably, um, and honing your craft. Uh, anybody can learn how to play, I think anybody can learn how to play an instrument and, and learn to be an entertainer. I think that's something that you can learn. Um, but if it's something you want to do as a career and make a living at it like I have, I mean, I've been fortunate, I've raised five kids playing music all my life, that's all I've done. And the hardest part about all that was just you know, when, there's, when the gigs aren't coming in and you're not making very much money, how do you pull through that and how do you keep from just going, you know what, I'm just going to go get a day job and put this aside and make it, make it a secondary thing where that was hard for me is I had to decide whether I wanted to do that or just keep trucking along and hopefully things are going to turn out. So I think getting in any kind of entertainment business, it's a really tough thing. And, you know, for those people who want to do it, I don't suggest it. <laughs> it's a hard life. But if it's your passion, if that's what you want to do, it's, it comes down to persistence. It's being persistent with your goals, setting goals, and working your way up the ladder just like any other job. Hard life, poor 
while, barely got him by. He worked his hands right down to the bone. He said, son, you only get one shot. When it comes around to give it all you got, you better play it hard. Don't play it all. I'm Chad Lee, and I'm a singer-songwriter, musician, and music producer. And it's good to be here. You can check me out at chadleyband.com. Don't just try to make a living. Live your life and live it strong. Don't just take what you've been given. He said, son, tear it up. Get you what you want. Time will burn like gasoline. It was yesterday when I was 17. There's nothing.